Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marina YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about reverse power flow, motoring effect, reverse power relay. First of all, reverse power flow. The flow of current back to generator which is connector in parallel is called reverse power flow. In flow of current back to generator when it is connector in parallel is called reverse power flow. This may occur because of failure of prime movers at time of paralleling when generator is in off load. It will occur because of failure of prime mover when generator is in parallel when generator is in off load. Then motoring effect. If generator are parallel and one fails, the failed generator draws current from main bus bar that is from mainly from other generator that running generator and act as a motor. This is called motoring effect. Means if a generator are parallel and one fails, the failed generator draws current from the main bus bar. Here the ma main bus bar current will be from main other generator that is running. So the failed generator acts as a motor and it is this effect is known as motoring effect. Motoring effect causing drawing of high power from circuit and cause damage to crankshaft. In motoring effect, it will draw high power of current and it will cause damage to the crankshaft. Then the reverse power relay. Reverse power relay, it monitors direction of power flowing between generator and load. Reverse power relay, it will monitor the power flowing between generator and load. Reverse power relay detects reverse power flow and trips generator circuit breaker. It will detects the reverse power flow between in the circuit in the between them and it will trip the generator circuit. If the prime mover is a turbine, then reverse power pickup setting is 2 to 3 percentage. If prime mover is diesel, setting range is 5 to 15 percentage. Okay. If the prime mover is, is a turbine means then pickup setting will be 2 to 3 percentage. If it is a diesel, then pickup setting will be 5 to 15 percentage. Yeah. Thank you.